Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rod here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for August 20th to August 26, 2018 so um, <clears throat> we are going to start with the Tarot reading and uh, the first um, position of the spread that it is a four card spread here will uh, reflect the topic of your week Capricorns then the second card represents the core of the situation for that particular week third card uh, <clears throat> reflects the challenges that you have to overcome for the duration of the week and the last one represents the guidance that you should follow here all right, so uh, let's see what you got. Now that will be the death card. So a, a very broad card. Now the death card could manifest just like the tower card in uh, every single field of your life. And it may mean as well a, a grand major change in your life. Like uh, <clears throat> that's uh, how can I place it? Um, that everything kind of lose relevance with the new era that it is coming in your life especially for those who are finding themselves in a very tight uh, position in a very you know despondent situation in or especially if uh, if those Capricorns which are not finding a, a way out you know they are kind of like cornered and they don't see um, any you know any uh, route to escape of uh, of the situation that they are uh, <clears throat> that they are finding themselves in, um, which is kind of like very misfortunate. The death card here, the bottom line is that as offer changes, it means that that particular um, standpoint will be no longer after that week passes through and with the second card we're going to see where this is coming from but i, I want to say a few things about the death card um, in addition now this it's very important when the death card comes as a topic uh, for us to be willing you know to basically let go of uh, those kind of enterprises and undertakings which are basically not moving um in any case forward so basically we need to recognize what uh, or you Capricorns has to recognize you know what is futile to be pushed forward and what could be uh, could be manifested even further and in order to do so you know you have to uh, use a little bit more your more your mentality than uh, your <clears throat> than your uh, emotions as well when it comes to that and uh, also you have to kind of like uh, be able to let go of a certain attachments and just to give you an example here of uh, what kind of an attachments uh, you may for example uh, love your partner into relationship very much but the relationship doesn't move on uh, forward from quite some time now uh, despite your efforts and it does seem like you have uh, tried everything you can and still the thing isn't budging out so obviously you have to burn that bridge regardless of how hard that that can be you know so it kind of likes the death card is associated with burning bridges with the past so uh, you can open a, a room for a, a newness to be um, to be sown there so a, a new life can start grow can start growing and that new life could be a new job you know a new relationship etc etc but the death card um, asks you to clear a room for it and that room should be cleared exactly where those kind of a situations or those kind of undertakings which doesn't move on forward regardless of your efforts are taking place now the second card points the core of the situation here that will be the knight of pentacles so the change here or uh, the promise for new brighter future com comes from that person you know very uh, this person is very um, meticulous uh, this person is uh, very strict for the lack of better words so what I'm trying to say is that um, this I will say a guy but it could be as well a woman here uh, 
they always have a plan and their plan is very simple i mean with a very simple steps they are capable to reach a, a greater height the the knight of pentacles it's someone who very well knows what they want and they know how they can uh, they can reach it and um for worse or for good here uh, you are fitting into their plan about something and that particular thing that they are trying to uh, achieve it could be a relationship with you it could be a project with you you know um, etc etc in, in general it will be an undertaking that it, it needs your involvement as well um, <clears throat> They have calculated it very carefully and very meticulously and they see a, a huge benefits coming in from it for both of you, not, not just for them but for both of you because the, the actions of that person are supported with a high determination as I said but as well with the, with the compassion. So that being said they will not uh, try to cheat you in any way and kind of like collect the fruits of your labor for themselves as well. So that could seem as a contract here you know uh, and that contract could be a business contract but it could be as well a relationship contract, fr uh, contract friendship contract as well. <clears throat> in any in any case you have to listen to that person what they uh, has to offer us and, and, and ideas you know and as a, um, a plans how to move on forward now the next card here represents the challenges that you have to overcome Capricorns that will be the lovers card and the lovers card is associated with couple of things in that particular case is associated with uh, with harmony First of all, so you may not see a, a much of a sense from that person's plan and from that person's approach toward the situation in general. Now, uh, <clears throat> I don't know about you, but um, as this person is an earth sign, uh, you should not have much of a, a difficulties being synergized with their ideas and with their um <clears throat> you know with, with their idea for approach to what the situation but the lower the lower scar for some reason points that you will not be very happy of the entirety of their plan which means that you will want to change certain things here and there in the plan and that person which is offering you the contract which is offering you you know the um uh, the mutual experience here will not be agreed with changing any kind of step of the plan as well and that will uh, place you into a point of where you have to make a certain decision should you follow that person or should you go on your own now the decision here um, cannot be predicted what I mean is some of you will decide to go along with the person some of you will, will decide to go along with themselves you know but <clears throat> the role of that person is just to give you an option available that you can force a, a certain change in your life they don't have to contribute entirely for the change but just the push there <clears throat> for you will be from a, a vital importance so the decision is up to you but it is rather advisable to follow that uh, that person and to use them not exactly to use them but to cooperate with them uh, you know toward a, a greater height and the last card here represents um, the guidance that you should um, follow for the duration of the week and this is the uh, nine of swords so nine of swords as said before this is about responsibilities and it is about realizing what one is capable of as well facing one's fears so it, it, i can see now why you will not be very agreed with their plan you know because their plan will involve actions that you are afraid of failing most likely or you are afraid that you will not be very capable of executing to their uh, <clears throat> to their maximum uh, performance to their maximum quality here and uh, I would like to say here Capricorns that unless you try it out you will never know and you need to know that this person isn't going to be hard on you you know but they will be rather easy uh, so even if you don't do the performances expected now that person will be willing to work it out with you all right so you it, it will give you a second chance so you have to as well um, <clears throat> regain back you know the um, I don't know 
the faith in in the human nature as well all right so uh, this this guy or a girl they don't want you to be miserable all right they, they 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 don't want they don't want to make profits on your back just on the contrary they more they want cumulatively with you to make a certain benefits and they're willing to work out with you whatever you are lacking as either an knowledge or either as a, a capabilities here and so now we are going to the Lenormand reading now the first card that we do have this is going to be the key followed by uh, the heart so uh, that looks like a Zia contract already and then we do have the letter so yeah uh, this is going to be a, a common ground regarding a, a cooperation which is going to be signed in a something like a, a contract here or in general uh, a mutual agreement which is going to be uh, which is going to be signed from the both sides so it's going to be scribed <clears throat> inputted somewhere now the heart here represents the um, the mutual force that you and that person are going to have the key here represents defining the way how you both can work out together and um, <clears throat> the, the letter here represents that is going to be scribed in conditions somewhere so uh, yeah that could be a proposition for uh, for a job it could be a proposition for a private business and as well as this is the the heart as well that could be a sign of a relationship but with the these couple of cards now that will seem like a relationship on paper like a relationship on on benefits rather than on love here so uh, it is unlikely that this is going to happen but yet again <clears throat> you know everybody has their own means everybody has their own goals and uh, for example if you are in a foreign country and you're for you're searching a way to stay there maybe a relationship and marriage which is signed in paper will be the way how you're gonna do it you know for example if you are from the European Union like I am and you are living right now in the United States but you have to go because your visa is expiring well these cards are pointing that you can definitely get married there uh, or you you will have the chance to get married there and uh, basically get your green card if you so desperately want it so basically that being said Capricorns this was your the weekly tarot reading for August 20th to August 26 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video Rod signing out now see you next time bye